How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Some of you are watching today because you don't have a speedometer. The rest of you are watching because this will be useful information that may save you a lot of money when you're out on the road. Let's roll those cameras. talking about the speed sensor also known as a VSS or vehicle speed sensor on your Harley-Davidson the reason why I have my Harley-Davidson sitting out here on the driveway is I want to show you just how easy you could fix this on the side of the road are sitting in the parking lot of a dealership okay this is your VSS unit you'll get from the Harley-Davidson dealer this is what it looks like this goes down into the transmission it's like a little cork then you'll take your bolt off the top of the transmission the Allen wrench bolt you'll put it back in here and you'll put it down and tighten it into the transmission this is threaded back behind the battery and up to a plug. This is what the plug looks like. This part cost me $71. Yeah, a little bit expensive, but compared to letting the mechanic fix it and it being almost $200, that's a big difference. Okay, this is the transmission right on the top right here. This is going to be your VSS unit, okay? You got your Allen bolt right here. This is the plug that goes down into the transmission. You're going to follow it. This wire goes right underneath your starter, goes around, disappears up, and then as you notice, it disappears into this flock of wires right here. So in order to get to that plug, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove your splash guard right here. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is a really easy job. You should be able to do it right on the side of the road. That's why I'm going to do it right here on my driveway for you. What you need to do is you need to get to these bolts right down in here. There's one and then there's two bolts and then this splash guard moves up over the tire out of the way exposing all the wires on the back of your battery box and then you can go ahead and work freely right inside that area like i said this is about a 15 minute job once you're in there uh nothing to it guys it's really an easy fix don't take it to your mechanic unless it's under warranty Okay, now that I've got the splash guard removed, what I did is I went ahead and I brought it down here, all the way down under the tire. A lot of guys say to go ahead and put it up over the top underneath the back fender. Either way, it'll get you in there. Now, what you're gonna see is inside there, there you go, there's all your wiring on the back of the housing. Now, if you notice, right here, there's my VSS wire, I've threaded it. it, used to go up and under, straight up like that, but so you don't have to actually thread it through all of the spots. Just make sure you've got a little bit of play in it, and it goes up, goes underneath these wires, and boom, there's the plug right there. Pop that loose. 
And once you got it loose, you can pretty much take it the rest of the way out with your finger. There's your Allen bolt that holds it in. Just stick a screwdriver in there. Just pry it up out of there very gently. Okay, now that you've got that VSS reinstalled, you can go ahead and grab that splash guard, hook it back up on that bar up there, put those two screws in, and you'll be on your way. Okay, if you guys like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys on the road.